captions are speed bumps. When you're scrolling yes. through or you're driving, you get hit with a speed bump, you gotta slow down and pay attention to what's going on. Social media, when you're swiping, if it's just video, it just looks like a moving picture. But if there's text, now I feel obligated to stop and read. People don't stop and read captions. They stop and read the big text in the front. Hey, so, you gotta have a church on Sunday. What's your goal with the food page? The goal with the food page is definitely, I wanna be incorporated with restaurants, like letting people putting people on, whether that be snacks or restaurants and also curating like uh, events that have to do with food, but could be more than that. And I love the videos that you've been doing. So I noticed you've been using the collaboration features. It's good if you're collaborating with a page that has a large reach. What I'm noticing for every 20 posts, the algorithm might promote a collaboration post, but that's not always the case. What I would recommend you doing is taking that first post, post it on your food page, than doing like a story promo. Your story might only get a thousand views. Let's say you got 20,000 followers on your personal page or something. Everyone's not seeing it. But the cool thing right now with Instagram is that I'm noticing the discoverability is high. So with TikTok 2020, discoverability was crazy. That's how people were getting to a million followers in a month. So with Instagram right now, they're boosting posts organically throughout the algorithm. The thing that you have to really hone in on is your hook though. The first three seconds, the no, first three or four the, seconds. the verse zero seconds, the verse the zero to zero. one now at this point. Cause people okay. have gotten so used to just swiping. You have to catch them. Food review is perfect. Cause if you look at other people in the space, what ends up happening is they'll know if you, if you're either rating it from like zero to 10, they want to know at the end what that experience is like. Let's see what his take is on this. I would just keep posting organically and double down on the amount of content that you're putting out. You should be uploading at least five times a week. Okay, yeah, I can definitely get better at the consistency. And also the hook, you said the first zero seconds. What do you think about the last post? What would you rate that hook? I'm trying to pull that up right now, let me see. I love that you did the oh uh, thing, right? Like that's hella yeah. funny. And I love that the Cinnamon Toast Crunch came in like that, but that Cinnamon Toast Crunch logo should have been first. I often say that captions are speed bumps. When you're scrolling yeah. through or you're driving, you get hit with a speed bump, you gotta slow down and pay attention to what's going on. So social media, when you're swiping, if it's just video, it just looks like a moving picture. But if there's text, now I gotta feel obligated to stop and read. People don't stop and read captions. They stop and read the big text in the front. Hey, so, so. you gotta have a church on Sunday. <laughs> you gotta have a church on Sunday. That makes sense though. That, that's definitely something that I contemplated as well. Like I, I had it at first and then I was going, going back and forth with, with myself, but you're right, that, that makes sense too. I'm looking um, at the wrap snack ones. You licking your fingers is hilarious. That would stop me. But that logo coming in blurry, the logo should have just been there or it should just say trying out wrap snacks. Because right now what you're doing is you're building a following of familiarity. You're trying things, you're throwing it at the wall to see if it sticks. Not everyone starts off with having the analytical understanding of social media and looks at it that perspective. But I think your personality mixed with the consistency, bro, it'll hit because you're not doing stuff that another food reviewer, you're putting your own personality and your own scope of like how you see things. The Wingstop one was one of my favorites. I just wish you were wearing a shirt because dudes yeah. aren't gonna wanna sit there and see your, your nipples out. Yeah. So now you're missing out on an audience of people just skipping away because they might psychologically feel triggered or they might be outside and be like, I don't wanna be watching this it's like when people are but on the other side, that was good because of the title at the very beginning and yeah. like the hook and all that. Yeah. If you dial that down and you take those videos, right? You perfect the hook. The great thing about what you're doing with food reviews is you don't have to focus on adding music in the background because with music comes copyright. And when you have copyright, now there's like conflict of interest. Now you got to re-edit a video. So with the yeah. ASMR stuff that I'm doing, I don't have to do any of that. All I gotta do is do the title, export two versions, one with title, one without. Here's the tricky thing. But what happens when you go on to TikTok? If you type in something like Wingstop food review, now all these videos are gonna pop up. Even if it's not in the caption, it might be on the title. Got it. So yeah. when, when you go onto TikTok, it literally says add some text on here because it'll add to SEO. On your cover, it adds to SEO. So it helps you be uh. discovered more. So for platforms like Instagram and TikTok, I might not put text on there when I export it for the title. I'll do that manually on the platform. So now that the platform registers, A, you're using our tools, which they love, and B, they can register what the video is about in the metadata because you typed it out onto the screen. Sounds stupid, but again, people just don't understand this. So if you perfect those two things, you get the video underneath 45 seconds, 30 will be perfect. Do you think a food review that's 60 is too long? Let me ask you this. How long do you watch a video for 60 seconds when you're swiping on social media? Majority, not, not, not too many. There you go. No, correct, correct. <laughs>
But the ones that are engaging, it doesn't really matter how long they are. But to your point, majority, no. But your goal right now is to grow quick, right? 45 seconds or less. You can get the edit under that. If you have blank space of just sitting there and there's no edit or nothing funny, I'm gonna swipe. You've lost me, unfortunately. Hook, you got the speed bump. I love that you're doing relatable hashtags. Wink stuff, yeah, I love that you're building out your own hashtag. Wink soft food review, chicken wings, chicken lover. Get even deeper with that. Food, foodie, your reel might hit at the top. And are you syndicating these videos across TikTok? TikTok and YouTube shorts? Not TikTok yet. I'm doing consistently YouTube and Instagram and I just hopped on Snapchat yesterday. Get on TikTok. Yeah, okay. for sure. So the variety show. So right now you have, you doing food reviews. I feel like that's gonna be your number one. When people catch on and they start understanding and people start sharing that and you get that community, they're gonna start catching on. Number two, doing the restaurant recaps or reviews that you do with the narration, love that too. Mm -hmm. And if you wanna take it up a step, you could even try and add your green screen over that. You can add the video onto like a filter and do a green screen and be like, look at this glorious bowl of macaroni and cheese. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so the reviews the voiceovers and my third one was like more engaging with the public like live reactions reactions to people eating and react other people eating like the public and people cooking so start with your friends because that's the yeah, easiest yeah. and people will think that they're strangers and then yeah. once you start building that familiarity then you can start doing that i believe that if you just continue doing the food reviews right now hone in on that dial down on youtube shorts TikTok. you could be at twenty thousand followers easily in a month the end of the year goal is 13.6 you said 13.6 yeah followers yeah thirteen thousand. by the end of the year yeah Humbly. Well, you gonna surpass it. I like humble predictions because now we don't like gotta feel, ah, I didn't reach that goal. Well, cause bro, I started the year out at 108, like 100. I'm at like, I'm damn near at 400. So that's two months. I've gotten about 400. In your TikTok bio, so what you're missing here is Instagram link and your YouTube link. So when people click there, they want to be able to follow you everywhere. Ah. What Keith Lee was able to do was I spent $69.33. People go, wait a minute, you spent that much? Now the, connect, yeah. the, the connection of bro, I spent $10, you spent this much? What the hell do yeah. you mean? Like now I gotta see what you got. I also, like after I saw like what ones per performed well, I also realized that on, on Instagram, the ones with the engaging and like the cool cover pictures did the best. Yes, on the explore page. Yes, when people click to your page, absolutely. But there's this part on your Instagram that says suggested reels. You see that? Yeah. yeah. You see how it just loops the first zero to two seconds? That's yeah. what I'm talking about. You have to capture that attention because when you're on the explore page, you're competing with attention here. Just like you walk into a movie theater. You look at all the movie trailer posters, but there's always that one out of those 50 that catch your attention. You're like, I got to go see this movie. So that's the goal here. You want to capture that attention. Yeah. When it pre-rolls. When it pre-rolls, yeah, yeah, damn, that was a great point. It does loop the first two seconds. So to hook it even more, adding text at the beginning. Because in my head, I was going for face card. Like, oh, they see that face, and like you said, I'm looking at my fingers, I was doing that little weird sound, and, and then when I just posted, the, the, the other one I may have said, ah, like, at, at, like, at the very beginning, but like, I, I was in my head trying to use like, my face and like a, like a grabber of attention off rip, not text. So you can do it with your face, but that's gonna take time to build to understand who you are. And I think what you're saying is a good first step. Build that quick, people know like what's going on in the first zero seconds, they'll see your face, and then you can resort to the- I'm gonna drop a major gem for you, bro. So when I did the ASMR stuff on TikTok, I wasn't gaining a massive following from it as much as it should have. Like if you get a million views, you should be able to get 100,000 followers from it, 10% at least, right? Yeah. It's never really the case with social media because some people just watch and they don't like engage or do anything. But what I had to realize was if somebody came to my page and they swiped and then it was a video tutorial and then it was an ASMR video, then it was an unboxing, there's no binge worthy content. I'm just using his name because he's in the same lane, right? Keith Lee, you swipe, it's the same thing consistently, no matter what. When you throw on MTV and Ridiculous comes on, you're gonna just sit there and expect another episode of ridiculousness the moment they throw on jersey shore you might be like uh i'm switching to the next channel because i thought i was yeah. gonna get ridiculousness yeah yeah and it's and it's the same format same thing people like it so it's what it is so you write out whatever is getting the most attention and then you can start introducing new shows once you have a like a following other thing is 
follow 10 to 20 people within your lane that have a little bit more followers. Maybe you follow chefs, people who do food reviews, and leave thoughtful comments in there. Try to be there as soon as they post, because if you do, your comment might be hilarious enough to continue getting likes or get pinned. There's ways to grow organically. You just have to make sure you implement them right. Feed people what they're expecting. Feed people what they're expecting, yeah, facts. That comment was true. You're one video away from changing everything, so when that one video does hit, you wanna make sure you have an arsenal of content people can just go and binge watch. If you wake up and you knew Saturday morning cartoons were coming on, or you knew that did that Disney movie was coming on at 8, 9 p.m., it's the consistency flow based off of where your demographics are at. So if you know most people live in the East Coast, most people check their phones in the morning and before they go to sleep. The go to sleep thing is tough because you never really wanna upload late. You wanna give yourself the full day because if you're posting right when people go to sleep, the rest of the people that live in the US that follow you aren't gonna see it. So the algorithm's not gonna push that content. So if you get up, you post something at like eight, nine o'clock in the morning, then at least you have the whole day to be able to like catch up. Definitely, that's a good correlation too because you get something to expect. I, I know if I hop on my phone by 9 a.m., I'm, I'm gonna teach something from parking. I'm about to post this video now. What, on the main, on your, on the? I post it on YouTube. Long form? Yeah, long form. But now I'm about to post the promo for it. I was talking to my barber about passive income. Is your promo the short form? Yep. But it's clear as day though, how, how, how much more reach, at least not having a big following, reels have than long form. Shorts versus like a whole YouTube so that's what I'm saying, bro. Like you gotta like double down on it and forget about the posting every other day type thing. Get in now because that's what they're promoting heavily on every platform. You don't want to really miss out on those windows of opportunity when algorithms are in your favor. I like to call those huge blips. Like one day is hitting everybody's videos doing over a hundred thousand views. But would you say wink stuff chat is personal? Because my personal page is about baby parker. Well, that's like more of a business page. If you're selling a product, you're not selling anything. You're just trying to get growth. There's so much more opportunity for organic growth than boosted growth. I got you. Think about it as a book on a shelf, right? You got three shelves. You got one that's organic. The other shelf is, I know this person's going to pay. And the other shelf is going to be shadow banned. You want to be on the organic shelf when you put that book back. You don't want to be on any other bookshelf. And, and that's the most genuine way. Because I've also talked to people where it's like, oh, bro, like, I just bought followers. So now people take me more seriously. Da, 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 da. But there's no organic growth in that. And mm -hmm. it probably just deads your, it probably just deads your growth because you, you're just adding ghost followers to whatever you're doing. Exactly. Well, I hope that helped. Produce some more content. Go to the stores and pick up some foreign snacks. Go online and look at food reviews and see what people are hitting for. It might be new items that companies came out with. Because on TikTok, you can search something up, food review, snack review, and then you can change it to when it was posted in the last month, three months, and that should show you that that's what's relevant right now. That's trending. For sure. No, I need to hop on TikTok. All it takes is one video, make the adjustments, see what's popping, test it out, rinse and repeat. So I appreciate it. Of course, bro. You have a blessed one, I'll talk to you soon. So I was sitting down with my homie Parker. He's got a food page called We Ain't Stuff Yet. Make sure you guys go give that a follow. He's hilarious. He's bringing an entertainment aspect to food reviews that I haven't seen yet. His personality is on point. And I believe that he has an opportunity to change the way food reviews are made, make a huge impact in that lane. However, there are certain things with social media that he isn't doing right. There's no really right or wrong way to do things. I'm in my pajama pants right now recording a YouTube video with a nice shirt on. But that's the beauty of social media. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed that one.